Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be making handrails for this spiral staircase. Someone sent a comment the other day asking me if I could make one, so let's go. Um, first of all, I want to see where the origin for this is. Okay, the origin's over here, so all you really need to do is shift S and cursor to active. That would move the cursor, like my cursor, this one, to the active object's origin. I'm also going to turn on this. So you guys can see what I'm doing down here. Anyway, next up, I want to make a cylinder and we're just going to jump into edit mode and let's just move it along here, make it smaller. And I believe that should be fine, except let's see if I can move it a little bit more. I'm just going to move it up as well. Enable yeah, enable snapping and vertex. Move it here. I'm pressing Z so it only snaps on the Z axis. And let's just do the same over here, except no snapping. Shift tab to disable the snapping. And snap it, say, I guess this height is fine. Now, the reason I moved the object in edit mode is so the object's origin doesn't move. So the object's origin is still over here and what that does is it basically lets me use the same array modifier so i can select the staircase no select this thing first and then select the staircase press ctrl l and link the modifiers and that will basically copy the modifiers that i have on the staircase to this bit now uh, you can call it say railing and yeah Let's actually start doing something now. I guess I do want to move it a bit inward because right now it is out over here and I'm not really interested in that. So let's do that. Actually, let me enable snapping and see what happens if I do that. Oh, so you can basically just enable snapping and that will snap the outermost bit over here to that. And afterwards, you can do move Z and just snap that over here. And that will, yeah, it's nice and clean this way. I prefer this. This is nice. Anyway, next up, this is a bit too high now because I kind of did move it. And all right, let's just scale it down as well. Just a little bit. I guess I'll have to move it again as well. Okay, enable snapping. Shift Z to lock it on the X axis. And there you go. So now we need to figure out a way to attach this bit to this bit over here. And honestly, the easiest way of doing that is just stay in edit mode, move the cursor over here, okay? And I'm gonna add in a cube and just scale that down to say this big. Now, if I just extrude this up, there you go. What that does is it creates two faces so there's a face over here on this side and there's also a face over here on this side so technically this should also have a face over here right i can connect this bit to that but sadly i can't do that right now because this is an array like it doesn't snap to this bit it'll snap to everything else but it won't snap to the vertex over here so the easiest way to do like the easiest way to work around this is to just add in a plane and just go into edit mode and just quickly move all four of these vertices to the face over here that you want to connect to and after that's done what you can do is just go into edit mode extrude this edge over here and remember to just connect this one just in case it isn't connected, extrude this bit over here, and I'm just gonna move both of these over here as well. All right, we shouldn't need this face over here, so I'm just gonna remove that face, and I can connect this, not that, this, this, and this edge. Press F to create a face, and at the bottom we can do the same. Those three edges, and press F to create a face. And what we can do on our array modifier over here is we can enable merge. So that will actually merge the vertices over here. Now, 
I don't think we need that anymore. So I'm just gonna hide this for a bit. Delete this and unhide that. Okay, and unhide everything else as well. And are the vertices messed up? I can't tell. Uh, enable backface culling. Okay, it is enabled. Okay, they are messed up over here. So just press, go into edit mode, select everything, alt N, and recalculate outside. So that should fix that problem. Now, something else that's an issue with people is, one second. It's a lot easier to work in Eevee. So let me just give it the same material as the staircase. Something else that's an issue is basically people don't like their handrails doing this every single bit. So this was an easy way of doing that and obviously you can always just select both of these and move them down together and yeah as long as you select both of them together it shouldn't really cause any issues. It should basically be at the same bit because remember this point like this bit and this bit are connected to each other. So remember you have to move them both together whenever you do. And you can do the same with the bottom bits. So this bit and this bit. Just move them together. And I'm just going to select this and move it down to fix that tiny thing. And this is basically your the absolute basic, the simplest handrail you could do. Now, obviously, you can add in another section at the bottom and you'll just have to work a little bit more if you want to do that. Apart from that, this should work. Also, uh, something else, you should be smoothing this, but it will cause artifacts like this. And you can enable that by just going into the object data. Yeah, object data node over here and turning on auto smooth. Uh, the default value, the 30 degrees over here is good enough. You don't really need to worry about anything else. So yeah, that was a quick video on handrails. Basically, you can make all kinds of weird stuff. The top one over here is obviously going to need some manual help. You can just copy this and just paste it over there since it is at the edge anyway. But yeah, hopefully this simple tutorial was helpful to some people out there. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want. Have fun.